Hey you right guys, Treasure Munch is Joe here and today we are watching and reacting to episode 17 of Gilmore Girls Season 1. Last episode was pretty good, we had Dean breaking up with uh, Rory which kind of sucked but other than that I think it was a really good episode and uh, like I say the Dean stuff I kind of get a bit more just because they are still, I, I don't know how old, I, I'm assuming like 16 in this I think they mentioned because Rory's birthday I think she turned 16 so they're still young but the breaking up bit. It's like him being upset, I kind of get, but then like him breaking up, I was like, that was a bit extreme. <laughs> so we'll see if that lasts. Maybe they'll talk about it more in this episode and maybe we'll get a bit more context on to if there was a deeper meaning into why he did that, but I'm going to go with probably not. Maybe there was. Maybe he was never loved by his parents and all he wants is some love and that's, you know, pushed him to do that. And we do know maybe he possibly has anger issues based on his reaction to Lucas Scott. So we'll see. But episode 17, if you enjoy Remember to leave a like if you're new, remember to subscribe, and if you do want the early and uncut reactions to Gilmore Girls, then link to the Patreon page will be in the description, and one of the comments down below. By the time this one's on YouTube, Patreon should be a few episodes into Season 2, uh, but for now, let's do this. Tell me what happened. Oh, we're picking we right up. up. We just broke up. I forgot your meatball in the car. Oh, honey, forget it. Yeah, that's, that's understandable. I left your meatball in the car. But she did also say she would bring him back, so I mean... He just broke up with me, okay? This doesn't make any sense. Uh, this is Dean... Working. Yeah, it, does, it doesn't make sense. You're right about that. Take me through the night step by step. Why? So I can help decipher what happened here. What happened Yeah, here we need to know. And suddenly decide to dump you for She's no reason. She's missed out the you know? one detail of not saying that she loved him. Getting rid of all this stuff. What stuff? Everything he gave me, everything he touched, everything he looked at. <laughs> everything he looked at? Okay, well... <laughs> Honey, that's your fancy dress that I made for you. That I wore to a dance that I went to with him. Uh. Ah, so there we go. He probably looked at it then. He said it brought out the blue in my eyes. Well, then he's gay. <laughs> You're not funny and it goes. I'm a little funny. Uh, she's pretty funny. <laughs> he's gay. There you go. That's the big That's the big reason. I don't want to look at that anymore. Okay. I'll, um, I'll put it away. Where did she get the box from? She just had a box in her room. I, uh, okay. Just hide him away. Store him away for a year. So I'll take care and of it. And then... Yeah. You go to bed, get some rest. She'll take care of it. She's gonna take the chicken out and hide it. <laughs> far, far away from the house, okay? Hey, it sleeps with the fishes. Thank you. Lies. We know Laura lie too well, or do we not? Wait, wait. Yeah. Oh, the whole box is being stored in there. <laughs> nice. <laughs> When the weekend comes around, you say they're too boring to actually do on a weekend day. So then you say we'll do them during oh, the week. Oh god, that's the worst. So, I think that we should get them all out of the way today, once and for all. I actually like the idea. Like, everything you're pulling off, just do it all in one day. Like, just have a day of doing it all. It's a good idea. I kind of do that with, like, emails. <laughs> that's about it. It's six o'clock on Saturday morning. Do you want to wear docks or sneakers? I want oh, to wear slippers. Oh, jeez. F, please. You made a rhyme. I'll see you downstairs. Ugh. Okay, I was trying to decipher the rhyme. Oh, oh please. Oh, jeez. Oh, please. Yeah, cool. What is going on? <laughs> She's deflecting emotions. I shall cry at the end of the app or something like that. Now, of course, when the sofa actually faced the TV, it made it a little easier to watch. But, you know, this is good too. It'll be like, um. Yeah, that's always you know, nice like when the sofa Are you ready to go? does face yeah, the TV. Yeah, I am. Just, I'm concerned about you I, I wish you would talk to me i don't want to deal with it right now that's fair she's like y you're going to eventually but shoving it away and ignoring it while you make lists is it, it's, it's not gonna help i don't want to wallow try it for one day it's mad i like with breakups how much they hurt for a while and then like given time it's like it's like why do i care <laughs> it's like Emotions are a funny thing, are they not? Sitting in the dark eating junk food and not shaving my legs isn't going to change that. I kind of like Rora's little approach here. I don't know about avoiding the emotions, but... I have school and Harvard to think about. Honey, Harvard's like three years away. But now is... The... So I'm saying I'm not sure about the opposite of what she's doing. I don't want to wallow. And you can't make me. Okay. Jeff, she did wrong. We do not need a garden hose. We don't have one. We don't have a garden either. But maybe if we have a hose, we can. You go have a front it. garden, no? <laughs> I've seen it. What? Small adjustment. Small adjustment. Mom. What? It's on the list. Don't you have to do it if it's on the list? I am not going to wallow. <laughs> you could do that. You could wallow for like an hour or two at the end of the night, but then would that ruin the day? Should have known what they teach you in that damn school. That damn school from down the road. Go that way. Why? We're going to Luke's. No. 
the well, shops there. You pull me out of bed at six in the morning, and then you say no to Luke's. Don't you realize how dangerous? That's a convenience store. Isn't please? Because we'd have to go by Dosi's Market. So, the so market. we might run into. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. Even I clicked on that, Lorelai, and I'm not a bloody mum. No, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay, we'll just um. Well, we'll stand there. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, this is good. <laughs> Great. GI Jane. Where are the drug dealers? You know, I bet you can tell a lot about people from their garbage. Yeah. Think about it. You know Trash well. is discarded aspects of people's lives. Hmm. Mm. It talks about their eating habits, what they read. Do they go to concerts? Hey, if you don't keep concert tickets, I mean, I don't actually care. Do what you want. There's nothing nuts about wanting to know more about human nature. Curiosity. Why are we? we why are we looking in the trash? <laughs> yeah, please. Who are all these people? It's they entered loot from the back. I officially door. recognize nobody in this place. Hey. Oh, hi. Uh, Happy while you wait. Mm. Oh, bless you. <laughs> so, Luke put you to work, huh? Yeah, well, I figured if I'm going to be hanging around here for a while, the least I could do is. Hey, you've lasted longer than Christopher did. He had one episode. <laughs> so, where is Luke? <laughs> uh, well, we were kind of late last night, so I let him sleep um... in. Sleep in? Luke? Oh, believe me, it wasn't easy to get him to agree to it, but in the end. Little sweet talk, couple of mm, PMs, he finally mm, came. <laughs> that's gotta hurt, Lorelai. Doesn't mean they slept together. I'm going with they did not. But one's mind can wonder. Nobody's staring at you. They know. They don't know. It's probably all around. No, that guy is definitely staring. But I think at the cameraman. <laughs> He's like, am I in the shot? Well, I got Dean that job, and I certainly encouraged them. I felt they were so right together. Miss Patty, please don't say anything to worry about. How does, it. How does Patty know? I mean, you don't have to say it's for me. Just give her a hug. Got it. Okay. That's kind of nice. Well, uh, good morning, Sleeping Beauty. Yeah, well, you know, Rachel. She was so I close to that tired. random bloke oh, who's good. disappeared we now. <laughs> he was so close that he was nowhere to be seen. Dean broke up with Rory. What? Oh, go in, Lou. Oh, I knew it. I just knew that kid was trouble. <laughs> yes, you did. You knew it. He's got a nerve. I mean, what does he think? He's going to do better than more? <laughs> All right, well, forget it. Okay, good riddance. <laughs> I love it. His dad vibes kicked in. <laughs> How is she? She's been dumped by her first boyfriend. Oh, man, I swear I would love to. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put some whipped cream on <laughs> the pancakes, too. Thank you. Uh, I love his little protective side coming out. I want to express my apologies mm -hmm. for not voicing my concerns about that floppy haired jerk. I love how I was just on Rory's side. The only thing that will get you over somebody is time. How much time did it take you to get over Max? Mm, oh, well, a not day. Sure exactly. I think. Approximately. Pancakes are coming right up. Yes, Anything Luke. Else I can get you? No, thanks. Hey, I've got some strawberries back there. You like strawberries, don't you? Yeah, I like strawberries. People like strawberries. I'm getting you strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> you told them, didn't you? No. Miss Patty did. Well, that's a lie. Oh, no. Here, Luke. Cop. <laughs> Stop right there. What? Where are you going? To get coffee? Wrong. Excuse me? <laughs> not going there, buddy. What are you talking about? Turn around, bag boy. Uh, are you serious? You see a smile on this face? <laughs> no, but what's different about that? What's that supposed to mean? It's exercising my right not to serve you. What are you yeah, talking about? Hey, does that about right, guys? Let go. <laughs> you first. If you tell us Patty... I can't be honest. I love it. People have their own lives yep. and their own problems. There it is. Oh, my God. What? Oh. <laughs> Just oh loopy in me, yeah. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> he started it. <laughs> well... He did try and weasel his way around. Stand in the middle of the street and have a slap fight, of course. Come here. <laughs> He's out of breath. <laughs> oh, what a mess. That was funny, though. You have to admit. I think we threw a punch at Dean. It would have been a bit like, okay, let's chill, but... Yeah. We need a soap dish for the kitchen. Ah, a kitchen soap dish. Kitchen soap dish. Okay, a dish for the soap, but for the kitchen. I can't wait to try the toaster pizza. It looks so gross, which is usually the mark of a great junk food. You're not, you're not wrong. Hey, sugar, I just heard. Oh. Where is she? If that ain't a smoker's voice, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Jesus. No, I can can't. tell her how you have to go through a lot of bad relationships uh, to get to that really good one. Ah, the, the, okay, but yeah, it's the most mundane advice. We like it. And I've known in my day <laughs> really, great. truly awful men. Bad, bad. I was pushed out of a moving car once. <laughs> oh, that's a peppy little animal. <laughs> oh, it's a show. <laughs> 
Oh, I didn't expect this show to be as funny as it actually is. I think like early on in the season, it tried to do some jokes. I was like, oh, and it still does. There are still some jokes where I'm like, okay, but yeah, good job. There we go. She's wallowing a lot sooner than I thought she would. I thought we were going to have the big wallow moment at the end. Oh, not yet. There's more fight to be had. Meditate. You're going to a Chilton party? Yes, I am. Do it. Honey, why don't you just stay home and read the bell jar? Same effect. I never read the bell jar and it meant to be like really good. Yes. Can I borrow something to wear? Yes. Are you going to give in to anything I say because you feel sorry for me? Yes. I'll make a list. I think it's quite enough. I feel like this is an episode you'd probably put on if you were going through a breakup. I bet people have done that. I bet someone watching surely has done that. Like watch this episode when going through a breakup. Or would that be worse? No, I am not hanging out. We're going to this party. It's going to be great. I don't want to dwell on this. That's final. We do like that. She's che Lynn's checking in, though. The cornstarch, the first time Dean kissed me, he... I, I forgot to put it with the other things. I'll just throw it out. Hey, why don't you let me do that? Cornstarch. That's the most American-sounding thing I've ever heard. Oh, hey, uh, look in somebody's sock drawer. Rich people have hilarious sock drawers. Be good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is that true? I don't know. What's in the box, man? Oh. Oh, is this all the stuff, um, her and Max? Yeah, yeah, that's the book she, he borrowed her from. So she's saying she isn't over the breakup yet, which means Max is probably going to come back, which is sad. Hey, hi, Lori, hey. Hi, I wanted to Suck his hair looking sure. better. Uh, oh, great. Hello? <laughs> Wait, did I, did I say Suki? I might have said the wrong Honey, name. Yeah. Hi, ah, how are you? Just take a peek for me, will you, okay? Tell him you want some water. Oh. And here. Take a picture for me. That's a- what is that? What if he's using the wrong spoon in the wrong sauce? Then the world as we know it will end. I have to go in there. You stay right where you are. <laughs> yeah, I'm with Jackson. <laughs> he knew. Had some wine and stayed out of the kitchen. I wasn't cooking. I'm with Jackson. I, I, I was suggesting. Wow, you suggested the ladle right out of my hand four We're back times. to Jackson screaming his head off. Suki, this is supposed to be romantic. There's a diagram in the pantry. Oh, uh, this has been going I'm on for you. five minutes. I, I want to like Suki, guys. Trust me. But what has been the worst scene of the episode so far? No, I'm going to stop. People get upset when I do Suki slander. But do answer that question, like, actually, genuinely. Max. Of course he lives under some stairs like an actual hobbit. Hi. Who's that? Lorelai, what? That's not Max. I don't even look like Max. It is Max, but he looks like the guy from The Sopranos. I'm not over you, and I don't that would know be, honest. how long it will be before I am, and who am I to be teaching her about healing and Laura. moving on and breakups anyhow? I'm, I'm not over you, too. I really miss you. Wow, that was a lot of words. I'm on a date. Do you want to come in? Okay, never mind. Yes. He might still be on a date. <laughs> Shitty camera quality. Wow! Oh, it's like an actual bar. My wedding won't be this big. Yeah. Man, this is, is yeah. amazing. <laughs> oh my god, there's a pool table. And a DJ. It's like a teenage Sodom and Gomorrah. And one person dancing. <laughs> wow, this is so many people. Yeah. Oh no, it's just. I've just seen three of the same faces already. <laughs> You've seen the pool house before. Yes, but they haven't seen it at night, right? <laughs> Rah, dude. <laughs> same exact people we see every day at school, except now we get to see them dance. So where is your boyfriend? Not even that, everyone's just doing this. I think everyone's doing that. Well, at least you've had a boyfriend for a while. Uh, make it about you, Paris. Great. Tell me what you were doing locked in the bathroom Chad with Michael Austin. Moves it Nothing. Nothing. Yep. You want to be a scientist? Cancer research. Cool. Yeah. Hell yeah, Paris. What? It just figures that the only Korean boy at this party has his Korean girl radar turned on. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm Henry. I'm Lane. This is one dance. A short one. No crazy dance mixes. Okay. Um, uh, like I said, no one's really dancing, so I don't think there's much competition. Unbelievable. She's here five minutes. She has a date. I don't know about a date, Paris, but uh, we're happy for Lane. This is actually dancing. Wow. It's like watching The Sims. The speakers. Ah, uh, sad Chad Michael Murray. Just in case this comes up 
later. I did not come here for this. Okay, got it. Okay. Just in case it comes up later. Oh, this is crazy. No, it is. It's not. It's, it's all right, Mr. Uh, Gremlin nice. Ed. Are you going to sit over there on that couch? Fine. And I'm going to sit over here on this on this chair. Max, get laid, bro. What are you doing? Get away from the couch. Yeah, I'm going to put this... You Table, right, right so they would just you know what i don't even like i'm not going to hear like dissecting okay. this scene what we're gonna see. i'm still going to dissect the fact he loves ships way too much so nothing's changed nothing's changed right, well. so i guess my coming here was probably a bad idea probably okay well you talk yourself out of that then oh, screw this. oh wow he threw that table didn't he I just stayed for longer than one dance. That's... My watch stopped. What time is it? It's 10.35. Yes, bye. <laughs> Whatever that means. Yes, bye. <laughs> She's gone to read. You won't talk to me or dance me. Why the hell did you even come with me? Stop yelling. Yelling? Summer, please, can we just go? No. Please. No. Oh, the old, look at all the extra. I'm 20 times a day. You're my girlfriend. <laughs> I think we should break up. Okay, I really want to go outside and talk about then this. Then go. Bye. Those three are all... Summer, come on! <laughs> really cute, very funny, and a surprisingly interesting. Lynn, wow, I'm sorry, but that's... I'm totally failing to see the problem here. I'm falling for a guy my parents would approve falling? of. Falling? They'd, they'd love him. They'd go crazy. Falling, the bro! The Kim house. This is horrible. It can't happen. I have to stop it. We need to go. <laughs> we need to go. <laughs> I have a very strict mother. Oh, wow. Sorry about that. You can even stay for one more dance, huh? Yeah, I don't think... Yes. Oh, no, he likes to dance. One dance would be fine. Great. Hey. Well, that, that plan went out the window then, didn't it? Well, I certainly did not come over here for that. As you said. You are a wonderful man. Oh, he's fine. He's like above average, I'd say. He's an above average human being. But I... We're not going to solve this staying away from each other. No, we're not. And obviously, Is anyone we are not with these two? Not you know, one that stands away from each other. But that's clearly not what this conversation is leading. So. so we'll talk. We'll talk. We'll talk, Max. Max and Ostomelios. Ah, we're playing sad oh, piano sorry. by ourselves. No problem. Is she going to hook up with I'm Lucas sorry. Scott? Oh my god, these two are actually going to talk. I really liked her too. And good for yeah. you, Lucas. When did it happen? Yesterday. Wow. It was our three month anniversary. <sighs> that sucks. Yeah, uh, well, it did pretty have to have a nice little date as well. Hey. Uh, I'm sorry I gave you. Are they gonna kiss or something? It's our party, they're both going through a breakup. And then Paris are walking or something. You are very odd. You know that? Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, okay. I mean, I guess we saw this coming at some point. I have to go. Fail. That's pretty bad when you, if you kiss someone and they start crying. <laughs> Jesus. We have to go. Maria, are you okay? I have to go. Oh, wait, can I get your number? Um, the last name's Kim. We're the only ones in Stars Hollow. <laughs> I can't believe I just gave my number to a potential Korean doctor. <laughs> a lovely. Uh, I love that she left straight away for as well. Ah, there we go. What did I say? I wallow now. A full on tub as well. That was a big tub of Ben and Jerry's. Now you pay probably the same price and you get it in like that little cube. Ordering pizza. Hey, Joe, it's Lorelai. I need a pizza with everything. <laughs> Why is she crying, Lorelai? Jesus. <laughs> Damn. Alright, there we go, guys. That is episode 17 of... That's bright. Um, Gilmore Girls. I want to... What was this? Right, PS2 Max Game. <laughs> Maximo. That, it literally came up. Not Max Payne. Maximo came up before Max Payne. <laughs> Why? <laughs> if you put in PS2, Max Game, it comes up before Max Payne. That was funny. Uh, Maximo, that was it. Which one did I play? It was like Maximo. It wasn't the first one, it was this one. Yeah, what was it called? I just called Maximo. Yeah. 
Army of Zen. What a game. <laughs> That's so cool. Alright, anyway, that, that is episode 17 of Gilmore Girls Season 1. Um, very good episode. Really enjoyed this one. Well, enjoyed. It was kind of sad seeing Rory sad, but yeah, she was... I showed this long. Her and Dean weren't going to last. I thought maybe they'd last at least till season two, but yeah, geez, he, he dipped out pretty quickly. I will say I liked kind of everyone's reaction to how they found out about the breakup, like being there for Rory and being on Rory's side. Like uh, Lane being there for her throughout the whole episode, I thought it was really good. Um, Laura and I trying to get her to wallow because she knew that point was going to come. But then she kind of went along with it and um, Rory trying to do like a full day of something, which I thought was quite wholesome. Um, then Luke, I liked his reaction to it as well. Like just <laughs> not fighting Dean, thankfully. I think if he went up and just socked him in the face, it would have been like, whoa. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I really liked Luke this episode as well. Everyone was on point, apart from Dean. Loser. Uh, I, the only thing I'd say I wasn't the biggest fan of with this episode was Lorelai. I, I think her going to Max was interesting because, it, again, it shows that she's not over the breakup. But it's like, I don't want more Max and Lorelai because I don't care. <laughs> I love Lorelai, obviously. And Max isn't even that bad. It's just I don't care for their romance, honestly. Um, for a first season romance, it's kind of how I felt with Rory and Dean. It's like, it's okay. We can do better. We can definitely do better. Max and Dean are like the most generic love interests you can get in a show they're not awful but there's not like sparks flying really like with a lot of romances that we get in these kind of shows so uh we'll give it time a season one out of a how many seasons is this is this again um seven damn <laughs> a long show we're near the end of season one though so that's that's something at least but we'll see we'll see um rate for this episode i'll go uh I think 8.2 out of 10. I think Rory was really good. I like that Lorelai was there for her. I like Luke's reaction to the breakup. I liked uh, Lane being there for Rory as well. I like that Rory went away to a party as well. Because I thought I thought maybe this was going to be a whole episode of just Lorelai and Rory hanging out. But we got a bit more than that, which is good. So, yeah, I'll go 8.2 out of 10 for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought of the episode down below in the comments. And if you do want the early and uncut reactions to Gilmore Girls, the link to the Patreon page will be in the description and one of the comments down below. And I'll see you next time for episode 18. Until then, take care. Peace.